Dr. Damianos, we actually had Dr. Ferlan, Dr. Andrea Ferlan for the, from the University of Toronto join us on Instagram for this session. And she had a few questions about um, IBS and fibromyalgia. She has a lot mm -hmm. of patients with mm -hmm. fibromyalgia. Yeah. And she's wondering if there's a link uh, between IBS and fibromyalgia. And then she also wondered if, if exercise is ever uh, possibly beneficial in that in these cases mm -hmm. so this is a, a fantastic question so is is there a link here between ibs and fibromyalgia and the answer is yes and the reason for this is shared pathophysiology particularly visceral hypersensitivity and central sensitization so ibs is characterized by those abnormalities in the gut brain axis and the gut and the brain are connected by the enteric nervous system. And so problems in, in one are going to affect the other. IBS is very frequently comorbid with other chronic pain syndromes. Fibromyalgia is a disorder of central sensitization. That's really the underlying driving pathophysiology of fibromyalgia. And this same central sensitization in conjunction with visceral hypersensitivity is seen in IBS. So there's a very strong link there. Chronic fatigue syndrome being another one, endometriosis, a lot, my, chronic migraines, a lot of these chronic pain syndromes are found in people with IBS because of that shared biological underpinning of the central sensitization. And so that leads into the second part of the question too, is, is exercise beneficial in IBS? And the answer to that is yes too. I focus my talk today on dietary interventions and dietary supplements, but there's a whole host of other treatments that we could talk about. Lifestyle changes, pharmacologic interventions, gut-directed hypnotherapy, gut-directed cognitive behavioral therapy. There's a whole host of other treatments, but exercise has been linked in many, many studies to interventional studies, including uh, in an improvement in IBS symptoms. So absolutely.